Hi everyone, Carly from Carly's KVs. I wanted to give you a little update on my Lancaria guinea pigs. I did decide to breed May and Maddie. Um, we were able to find a, a male for them. Um, I'll show, I actually have him here, so I'll show you him in just a second. But we had their pedigrees and we had everything. My friend um, and I have decided to do a little tiny Lancaria breeding group. So we called it True Caviary. Check us out, we have a Facebook page. So. Anyway, I wanted to show you the babies. They're super cute. And a little bit more of what I've learned about Lancaria guinea pigs, thanks to some of my YouTube comments. So thank you for watching and giving me more information. That's exactly what I wanted out of all of this. So hold on. So first we have Sweet Maddie here and pardon their haircuts. I cut them for when they were having um, babies. So we did decide to breed her. And here is her little baby. Hello, sweetheart. We've named this one Gemma. And Gemma is a tri roan. Her mama was a gold agouti and her dad was a black roan. So you can see, even as a baby, they have rough curly hair, which is really awesome. And she's a little funny thing. So she's about a week and a half old. They had very smooth deliveries. Lancaria, we've learned, have very small litters in general. So usually one or two babies, which is proven true for both of these girls here. Guinea pig gestation is approximately 62 days, which was about right. So we, I keep really detailed weight records and dates and breeding things. So we are trying to do this responsibly and right. So babies do nurse. There are two nipples back here. So I think she's just hiding right now, but you'll see them nursing, poking their little heads back here. So... We've been pretty proud and she's been a very good mama taking care of her little one. And here's May and her two babies. So these are also both girls and going to talk for you. But um, they're about two and a half weeks old. So they're quite a bit bigger than little Gemma. And you can see something else that's really interesting about Lancarias is both of them. Come here, little sweetie. Are starting to get oh, hold still a little bald patch on their noses. She's not gonna let me show you. Maybe you will. On their noses, like this. And that is normal for Lancaria babies when they have really rough, dense hair, which is actually what we want. And she has really nice, thick, kind of coarse sheep like hair, which is another fun fact I learned about Lancaria is the name Lancaria in Swedish is a combination of. Uh, somebody's last name, Lunk, I can't pronounce it, please help me, and Rhea, which is how they say sheep or some breed of sheep in Sweden. So super cool, super cute. Another thing we've learned about Lancaria is you're either a Lancaria or a Peruvian. There's kind of this no middle ground because Lancaria is a dominant gene. If you were to mate her with a Peruvian, you would have Peruvian or Lancaria babies. So another fun fact. And poor May's getting a little bit tired of her babies. There you can see her nursing right there. Yes, they're just big little milk monsters and chase her all over. And this is dad. Dad is a black roan and he was the dad of both of my litters here. So this is Jet and he is gorgeous. He came from Canada as well. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at filming guys. But let's talk about Roan for a second. So Roan is beautiful. It's this combination of black and white hair that give them kind of a gray look. So Roan can be linked to what's called a lethal white guinea pig. If you mate two Roan guinea pigs together, you'll have a one fourth chance of producing a lethal white guinea pig. And we want to avoid that. So we did have their pedigrees. Both Maddie and May did not have any Roans in their history. And Mr. Jet here is a gorgeous Rowan, and he did pass that on to two of his little girls. So we're pretty happy with that and are pretty happy with the hair and everything. So um, he's not quite as dense as May. His hair kind of falls a little more flat. So we're working on the density and trying to get as good as we can here. The baby guinea pigs are living with the rest of the herd right now. They're big enough, strong enough, and actually eating solid foods. Baby guinea pigs actually will take 
solid food as early as three days. You see, I told you mom is done with her babies. So they are really into eating their own food and being mini adults. Babies being born with their hair on and fully developed is part of one of the things I really like about Giddy Pinks. They don't go through the phase where their eyes are closed or anything like that, like puppies or kittens do. They're fully developed and ready to go. It's a really actually a pretty evolved, as the right, I don't know what the right word would be. Good adaptation for the wild because when babies are born, they're good to go because they are a prey animal and are chased by all kinds of things. So a baby being able to be mobile and good to go is also good. It's also good if mom has a bigger litter because they only have two teats um, that they can supplement their food with other things. And you can see even this baby who's just over a week old is hanging out with the big girls, their aunties, and eating hay. And I think it's fantastic.